Hey you guys, um, it's Chi and I actually just wanted to present you guys 10 of my top styles for Senegalese twists or box braids or bigger box braids, bigger Senegalese twists, even kinky twists, you know, and Havana Marty twist and all the different types of weave, <laughs> braiding weave and everything of that sort. And pretty much the 10 styles that I'm going to present to you, you're going to need a good amount of stuff. You'll need a few hair ties. Probably not much. <laughs> You'll need a headband like this. You could have a headband like this or or a bunch of collars or a regular headband. Um, and because my Senegalese twists are like kind of oversized, um, I use this headband to actually put my hair in a ponytail. I use these headbands. Um, and then afterwards, you're gonna need some bandanas. I already have mine. I already have mine like kind of folded, just a little bit, somewhat. And other other bandana. Um, and then I would say that you guys can use any type of product or any type of product that you have to soak or sleek down your edges, like slick down your edges or anything of that sort, like gel, eco style gel, Dax, anything, honestly, edge control, anything. But I prefer to use my nifty dippy C-Rock hair cream that I've actually created and modified my own. And don't forget... I actually use an eyebrow brush for my edges. Don't judge me. I think my edges need love too. And um, sometimes even little cute accessories. Like first style we're gonna start with is this. Just this like this with the middle part. The middle part of my head is actually really, really dominant. And I'm gonna say that in like a few seconds. Yeah, you see. And also. I like to add to my stylus for a side part, either to the left or to the right, so then I can actually do my hair in a side part, you get me? And pretty much after that, just smooth my hair out, and then voila, there we go. Now this third style is what I like to call the Karuchi. And for this one, we're gonna need hair ties. And we're just gonna pull the hair back just a little bit. And we're gonna pick up the hair from both sides. It doesn't have to be like perfect, just as long as you're picking up a good amount of the hair on the front from both sides. Okay, so pretty much at this point, I'm just smoothing out my hair, checking my edges, making sure everything is aligned and pretty much straight around now. And then next, you'll just put the ponytail holder on so you just pretty much make that little front ponytail. And then you would just part it down the middle and then fix it up to the point where it looks like, um, I would say either a pineapple or as they call it, the karuchi look. And then you just fix it up. Sometimes I like to move it to the front. Sometimes people like to wear it more so to the back. But personally for me, I like to move it to the front. And also afterwards, after you're done smoothing it down, just prep and there we go. You're done. But just in case you want to smooth down your edges, I don't really find there being a point to smooth down the edges since you won't really see the edges. So there's really no purpose to it in my opinion. Now the next two styles that we'll be getting into are just a way to wear your hair down and pull a few strands out your face pretty much. And now I go and I talk of a storm. <laughs> And pretty much you, you can take your edges for this style, a few of the braids, probably like two or three, and pull it back. And then shake your hair out to the front. I'd like to do this so it doesn't look too weird in my opinion. And then I fix everything, make sure it's all looking right. And then I put the ponytail holder. And then look, there we go. We are done. Sometimes if anything they're too tight on the sides, I like to pull them out just a little bit so it's looser. But there we go. And that is that style. Now getting into the second way that you can pull your hair back and still have your hair down at the same time 
we're gonna actually take a few braids from the front section instead of only the edges and we're gonna pull it back and then afterwards we will be putting the ponytail holder in. but prior to that you should be fixing everything to make sure that it's just the way you want it sometimes if it's uneven I'll fix it and I'll just move it around to the side sometimes it'll be too tight so I'll just loosen it up to give it that more casual urban look and that's it for this next style we're gonna need a headband it could be any headband small one thick ones colorful ones black ones solid color ones and then you're just gonna put on the headband pretty much and sometimes for this hairstyle, you can either leave your hair to the back behind your shoulders or you can actually put it over your shoulders. I actually really like to wear it over my shoulders. And there we go. We are done with this style. <laughs> this next step is actually a continuation of the previous style where you could actually style your hair up with a bandana. My bandana is already rolled up, so all I do is wrap it over the headband. That is the key to wrap it over the headband. And then afterwards, I just tie it, and then I start making my bow, and then I continue fixing my bow because I'm a real perfectionist. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. So the next style that we're going to get into is how to do a crown and, and as well as a side crown. And as I told you guys, the middle part is usually dominant in these type of hairstyles, for me at least. We're gonna start off by doing a crown using the middle part. And we're gonna take two front sections, and after we have those sections, we will begin to flat twist the hair all the way down on both sides. Once we're done with this, we're gonna actually take both of the twists and put it into a low ponytail in the back of our head. And then we're going to undo the twist all the way up into the ponytail holder to have a more uniform look. And then we're done. <laughs> for all my viewers that prefer the side part, this one's for you. And now we're gonna get into the side part. And pretty much the first step would be to part your hair on either side, whether it be the left or the right. And then afterwards, we're going to just flat twist the hair. And this time, we're not going to do it all the way down because I kind of got lazy and was like, you know what? Hey, let me show you guys a shortcut. So at that point, we're just going to take the ponytail holder and we're going to use it as a marker and not twist the hair all the way down. And we're just going to put it on so it'll stay while we do the next twist. Now, once we're done twisting, we're gonna take both of the twists into a low ponytail and we're gonna put the ponytail around both of them. For this style, sometimes one part may pull more, so I actually like to loosen it up where it is more so towards the smaller side so they can actually look more aligned and uniform. And then, we're done. We're going to get into the final styles. Honestly, I feel like I honestly feel like this is more than ten styles because it shows you different ways to do certain styles. So, hey, just counting. Probably am, but hey, somebody out there is probably counting like. Isn't, didn't you do like, didn't you just, isn't that like your 15th style? It's like 10. I get it, I get it, I'm sorry. <laughs> but now we are going to do high ponytails and high buns. And I've actually had so many people with questions for me on things like that. For this next one, you can use any method that you know to be able to put your hair up into a high ponytail. You'll need either yeah, you'll need either a scrunchie or a headband. I actually use a headband in this because my Senegalese twists are pretty, pretty full. So once I'm done with my high ponytail, there we go. Like that's literally it. But 
to jazz it up just a little bit more, we're actually going to take my Seagull hair cream and we're going to put it on my edges. Just look them down just a little bit. And this is where I take my eyebrow brush and actually just tend to my edges, you know, just, you know, make them sleek. So now the bandana is going to come into play and we're going to wrap the bandana around my head and then we're going to push it back so then it sleeks down my edges. And we are going to tie it up and make my famous little bow. And there you have it, the high ponytail. <laughs> Whether you like it to the front or if you like the hair pushed towards the back, I actually prefer the front because I just feel like my hair looks like it's down. And yep, this is how it looks from the back. And we're done. Now this is a continuation of the high ponytail. And I just took off the bandana and switched out bandanas because I like using this bandana when I do both. But for this, you don't need any bandanas, nor do you need headbands. You can just rock it out plain Jane style. But you already know me, I like my bows and my bandanas. So pretty much, now we're gonna take the top of the ponytail and we're gonna part it down the middle and just have it spread out evenly. And then we're gonna make a donut bun, so we're just gonna swish it to the side and wrap it around. And then once we're wrapping it around, we're gonna put the stray hairs underneath and we're gonna try to align and even out everything so everything looks right. Sometimes one side might look bigger than the other, so I just try to take that down. But then you'll take another headband, for me at least, or a scrunchie, and then you'll just put it right over. And when you put it over, all the stray hairs that are coming out, just try your best to get rid of them. But that's it. Thanks for watching and I Hope you guys like this video and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Oh my gosh, it subscribe while you're at it. I think I'm pretty cool. I think I'm pretty neat. No. Uh, okay, but pretty much. That was just me here. If you guys want to see any other styles that I've done, be it on my Instagram or anywhere else. Feel free to drop comments and ask me anything you want down below and have some more suggestions, either hair or weave related, Q&As, any more suggestions, anything, any videos that you guys want to see. Oh my gosh, gray hair. <laughs> and I'm really excited and thank you guys so much. I appreciate you for my little tiny, tiny point. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye-bye.